Hey guys, today let's see a simple API in the Electron framework that is the Desktop Capture API. Desktop Capture, as the name suggests, it's simply a API to capture the desktop, okay, and use it in our application, obviously. So uh, let's see how we do that. Okay, first of all, this works on the principle of navigator.getUserMedia. You might have used navigator.getUserMedia to get the uh, user input uh, to get the stream input stream from variety of sources like webcam and uh, audio sources like microphones etc right so this basically utilizes i mean works on the same principle but it's basically used for uh, capturing the desktop so let's see how that works uh, first of all what i have done is i have simply cloned this application this uh, repository my repository here from my profile i'll uh, leave a link to this repository in my description below uh, okay, and uh, uh, what I've done is I've just installed the dependencies using npm install, that's all. Now I'll just open this up in my code editor. Okay, it's, just, it's open, right? So to use Electron in this, first I'll install the typings for that. To use Electron in TypeScript, right? So I'll just copy this and then paste it here and then run npm run post install one more time. Post install is a trip, uh, script I have written inside here for installing the typings obviously. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so uh, let's start using this. First of all, what I'll show you is, uh, let's import this. Import uh, uh, desktop capturer from electron. electron. Okay. Uh, now to use this first let's use it in the ng on init method so that it uh, basically loads after everything has loaded right and basically it gets invoked after everything gets loaded so i'll just implement uh, on init right i forgot the syntax yeah it's on init on init okay and then uh, to implement this in constructor method so constructor. And then one more uh, what was that ng ng on right yeah okay now we have these two and uh, let's now make use of this desktop capture so uh, we, we use a get sources method as you can see here we use a get sources method so uh, first of all to get the source obviously so stream so uh, we'll just copy this i'll just show you an example of how this hose will look and then uh, close this source and then console.log uh, what is that uh, sources right? source this source is here right? okay now uh, what i'll do is i'll go to my index.js and to open the console the we need to give main window.open dev tools okay now let's see how this runs. Uh, npm run build, sorry, build. Okay, what's the problem here? Okay, uh, I didn't give the renderer process right. That's the problem. So I'll just give target. Okay, this goes fine. Just run npm start. And let's see what happens. Okay, it uh, shows a variety of objects, right? So uh, I'll just show you, show you one by one. This is the entire screen by default. And this is the first app, this app application. This uh, object corresponds to. This one corresponds to the terminal, right? Uh, terminal has a title like this and uh, this and then. So all these objects simply represent uh, each and every open window in our uh, desktop, current desktop environment. That's it, right? Okay. So uh, what if I wanted to uh, get a stream, input stream of any one window from this and then show it in my uh, application? That's the concept of capturing, right? Capturing a desktop. Capturing the screen simply refers to taking a screenshot or, you know, taking a video of uh, 
uh, what's available on the screen right basically what i'm doing here i'm just taking a screenshot i'm just capturing the screen and making this video right so uh, what should we do to capture our screen and put it inside our desktop for this uh, what we'll simply write is uh, let me just go ahead and open up app.ts and inside this i'll write a video video uh, tag html file tag right video id equal to raja and then uh, auto play and then slash video okay i'll save this and then uh, we'll just remove this console.log sources and then instead of this uh, what we can do is we'll just go ahead and copy paste this into a thing just to make this video short guys okay okay now uh, two errors are getting okay i'll just uh, use a quick fix to fix these two errors uh, if you see those two errors what those are basically is wait i'll just show you okay now we have these two errors property webkit million and property source this is basically because typescript doesn't recognize this webkit webkit get user media as a property of navigator right so what we can do to fix this is simply typecast it uh, so that it knows so typecast it into some other type I'll, I'll show you rather than talking about it what i'll do is i'll just you know let n equal to any navigator if you had already used i mean seen this type casting type uh, casting uh, stuff in uh, java or some other language you would have probably understand it so instead of navigator here i can simply use n right so this is what is type casting we are just casting what we want to use into a different type so that the compiler understands it and then you know compiles it without pro any error that's what we are doing here so now if you see the typescript compiler will easily you know compile that see so now we have this uh, source right so basically what this is it just thinks that this is a type element uh, uh, this is of type element basically it's true because we are just selecting a, this and this is a, a element right so html element right so instead you can make use of the same thing again let my video equal to uh html input uh, element and then uh, document uh, document sorry command dot get element by id okay so this is uh this basically refers to this video right video tag right video element so we'll just remove this here and then add my bit instead of it and that error goes goes out right now if i run npm build okay uh, no problem now we'll just see what we have here okay uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll open up a home okay this is my home folder simply my home folder so uh, if you notice i have a thing called a home this will be home uh, now just to prove my point i mean not to prove my point uh, we'll modify the code here so that if it sees a window by the name home it will have different sources right it will allocate uh, each and every open window in our desktop environment as a source right so uh, we saw that now recently right uh, as an array of sources and the entire uh, screen will be the first element in that array okay uh, so uh, if there now i have opened my home folder as i showed there now if there it will check it up and if there is any for source by the name of home it will just take that source and uh, it, uh, use that desktop input stream to and place that inside my video tag right Embed, embed that inside my video tag in our app that's what it's going to do i think i have confused you guys a bit uh, you'll easily understand it when i show it uh we'll just run npm and build okay there was no need of it i just run build uh, i didn't see that anyway let's no no you know and npm start 
okay so uh, now as you can see i just close this uh, as you can see you can see the thing right uh, the entire uh, window getting displayed inside our app here we have used the video tag right to embed this so this basically is a video stream from our monitor window corresponding to this folder right so for example i have selected this desktop app now if you see this also uh, here also the desktop app is selected i have selected this chat backend now here also the chat backend is selected so it directly corresponds to the uh, monitor input stream of uh, that window which literally means that we are capturing the desktop of this computer and then displaying it inside the uh, app as a video stream so this is what desktop capture is used for guys and uh, it can be used for various other functions as well inside our uh, i mean the usage of this api is basically based on our choice right so we can use it for a variety of purposes and uh, yeah if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone else and help them too guys and uh, if you like this video kindly hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this so yeah basically this what this is what i wanted to show you guys today it's a cool feature in electron and then uh, i was trying this out and once i got it to work and i thought maybe i should make a video out of this and show you show it to all, all of you guys so thank you guys thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye